I have become so gloomy in my old age, and I shall save the, uh, shuffle until after all our withered trees are restored. Okay, so once the withered trees are all restored, which is our pro tip. So in order to save Sakura, we gotta save all the trees first. Makes a lot of sense if you think about it, I guess. Is you know, video game logic. Gotta get all of the thingamajiggers! All of the whodunits, all of the... Labeldorfs, and God knows what else. Well, let's see if we can investigate the tree again, if that'll do anything. Before I go ahead and jaunting off into the merry sunset. You saw... Uh, what? What? You see this, right? If I walk closer... I'm gonna jump back in here because I'm curious what the hell's going on anymore. Now I've lost track of them. Ah. Uh, I don't know then. IDFK. IDFK. Huh. Well then. We've got a brand new mystery on our hands, don't we? Bark! Bark! Bark as loud as you can! Is it only if you go through the gate? Now, okay. Huh. Sis, this tree suddenly burst out in leaves. I, I know, I saw it too. Okay, they don't say anything else. Well, that was definitely weird. Me got in bed. Cute! Hikes in the little crib, in the crib, in the crib. Do 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 do. And stuffy. Aww. Do 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 do. Um. the watermelon out. Go ahead and check all these houses. That's standard stuff first. This is the music old Mr. Orange does his dance to. Ah, uh, it takes me back. He used to dance like that every single day. How many years has it been since the leaves blew about like this? It's nice to see our sacred tree in such good health. Ah, uh, Mr. Orange's dance, it reminds me of my childhood. He could make any with, uh, withered old tree spring into bloom with that, but he gave up dancing a long time ago now. He said it was because the power of the gods had weakened. You'll find him at the sacred deck up on the hill. Does that mean we can go talk to Mr. Orange again about that? Do penguins wake doggy? I don't know. Kari, do you like penguins? Okay then, penguin, uh, penguins and doggies get along. This is a millstone used to polish rice. Just looking at it makes me excited. 
Well, if it isn't Snowball, hard at work guarding your territory. A most refreshing breeze suddenly started blowing today. How many years has it been since, uh, was, uh, since that tree was green and fertile? Back then, the village's trees were in full bloom. Let's go ahead and try talking to Mr. Orange again, because we got some new information on him. That logically means in games you have to go talk to the NPC. And since we have this green arrow, which is always nice, we don't have to go crazy. We just know if there's a green arrow above his head, well, shit! God, I wish every game had that. God damn, could you imagine just that with Universal? God, that'd be better for the gaming industry, wouldn't it? That was a Universal feature. Oh boy. One of the greatest features I've ever seen. See? There's no green arrow, so I don't have to go nuts! I'm just like, well, fuck it then. I guess we don't have anything else to say to him. Or vice versa. Yes, they're friends. Claps hands. Aww, so cute! Do 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 do! Do 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 do! I'm gonna go down here. Oh, I almost forgot. I promised you some cherry cakes, didn't I? I'll get you some fresh ones in a jiffy. You wait right there. Upsy daisy Holy shit! That is the most aggressive way to make cherry cakes. Phew. Take these with you, dear. They're best when they're, uh, fresh. You consume cherry cake. Cherry flavored sweet bean cake. Fills that sterile pouch a good deal. I want to try that actually. One of my favorite things on earth is a bean pie. I love I love those bean pies to death and a cherry flavored one just sounds delicious to me. Like that just sounds amazing. What's the matter, Snowball? Hungry? A poor old thing like you must have it hard out in the uh, wild. Here's a little something for you. You consume baked oranges. I would love to try a baked orange. That's another thing that sounds delicious. Like, I love oranges to death, but I've never tried one baked. That sounds really interesting. Like, I'm always that type of person that I'll try anything once. I can't guarantee that I'll like it, but I will- Or I'll try it. Or they will try it twice. Yeah. But I'll try it once. I can't believe it. Our sacred tree, covered in leaves, should be a good season for my turnips, too, then. Okay, you say the same thing. What about you? So, what if that sa- okay. Baked banana. Mmm. A banana bread is actually really delicious. Like, but like, um, sorry, not banana bread. What's the thing called? Um, I think it is like a banana bread, but um, really good. Oh uh, God, what the hell's the thing? Is that banana bread or is it just bread bread? I don't know. I I remember what it is vaguely, but I don't. All right, so I think what we need to do is leave Kamiki by now. I, I don't really see anything else we can do here. It just looks like we need to GTFO. Is my bet.
They send you out to buy things in the middle of the night. Do they? Or self-made apple mousse. Ooh, that does sound delicious. Now loading. Um, yeah, what are we supposed to do next, I wonder? Because it didn't look like we could do anything in Kamiki Village. some to myself. I'm gonna make Ollie Bolin at home this year. Cool. Not sure where we need to go next. I'm really hoping I haven't found I haven't missed like an NPC or something back at Kamiki. It's very possible in a game like this. Ah, that didn't work. Okay, um, where to go next? Well, um... I'm trying to think of where we haven't been already. Because we know the- because we know the Sakura tree was a dead end. Because we needed, like, Earth Towers? We kind of have Earth powers. Maybe we're supposed to grow a tree underneath his feet or something. I mean, I could try that. Is just put a tree underneath Mr. Orange. Yeah, let's let's go back. I'm not really sure what the hell to do out here. It's not like I really have a direction to go in. I really do feel that we had that we've missed something. Like, like, just my, just my intuition is telling me. Based on the fact that we don't have a red circle to tell us where to go next, or anything like that. We have new pit. We have new pig.
But yeah, I'm gonna try planting a tree underneath, like, Mr. Orange's ass. Because we haven't gotten any other leads besides, Oh, if the Earth powers returned, I would dance again. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm just gonna go off of that one lead that we have. Because, yeah, I didn't even think to do that until now. And it might just be the ticket home. I didn't do jackets of shittest. There's gotta be something I'm missing, right? Like one NPC who I haven't talked to already. Because the game is giving me no red circles to go forward. Nothing to really do. Gives Patty the uh, Monopoly Gav jail card. The dumb shh. I just. I don't really. I just don't really get it. Like, there's got to be something I am horribly, horribly missing. We talked to her. Oh, we haven't fed these birds. Let's go ahead and feed these little things. But yeah, because we haven't... We haven't found sis... Um... Oh my god, because everywhere else has been a dead end. Just everywhere has been a dead end so far. Um, oh hey, we can feed the chickens now. Okay. Oh, uh, let's start by going into the one house we haven't been into yet, which is Susano's. Because that's the only place we haven't gone to yet, right? Me is helping. Jumps up and down. Cute. Uh, there's nobody here. Okay, that was kind of expected, in all honesty. Um... I can't think of any more leads. We talked to Miss Orange. We talked to Mr. Orange a shitload of times. Um, we've talked to you. You won't do anything until we got all fifteen of the Sakura trees. Um, this kid don't do much. <laughs> Aww. The problem is, is that we have... Like, the game is not telling me... Where to go! When it's told me where to go throughout the entire game. And now we're just kind of like, um... Waterfall looks interesting. I don't think it's gonna help me. No, no, the waterfall. Don't do nothing. Um. Oh. Um, yeah. I am not really sure. Um... Yeah, I... I've got a whole fat lot of nothing. At this point of the game, I... Like... I don't know if you're just expected to leave and like... 
But then what do we do after we leave? Like, oh, here's the one person we haven't... No, we have talked to you, I remember. Um... Uh, it's got to be something I'm... It's got to be something obvious that I must be missing, right? I honestly don't know what else to do. Because, like, we went from... We went from, oh, here's some lovely, helpful red marks on the map to tell you where to go. And now we've got a whole fat load of nothing. There isn't a single area we haven't explored yet. I don't really have a clue. Until after all our withered trees are rest I don't really think he really... Huh. I don't... Um... Maybe if we just go outside, maybe something's changed? You see, there's- there's a- there's a fine line between open-worldness and just straight up, what the fuck do I do now? And this is kind of crossing it. Into the what the fuck game? Dragonfly bead. Uniquely shaped bead that shines in multiple layers of color. I guess we'll go... I don't know. Yeah. Hey, there's a fine line you have to draw with open world games. Which is that you need some amount of, like... Go that way. Yeah, even just a vague direction of, like, go! There's a thing on a hill right now would be better than, the, than what the game is giving me. Even just, like... Hello, Constellation. Huh. Weird that we can see that right now. What? Who made a shooting star? Okay, then. That's definitely weird. Let me try checking, like, the whole overview map. Uh, zoom out. Keep zoom. Nope. And all I got told was that, okay, Mr. Orange will not dance again until we found all of the sacred trees. Which leads me to believe that we need to go find them in order to revive Sakura. That's what we've been told so far. The problem is, is that all of these areas we've already explored, and each of them led to dead ends. Like, this ferry, like, basically there used to be a ferry that came here, it no longer comes here, and be- and because- and because we're a wolf and not a fish, we can't fucking swim. Which makes sense. Um... If we go down there, that's towards the moon cave. 
which we can't currently access yet due to a magical barrier in the way. Um... And also, those little points right there are just save points. And Hana Valley. Get in. Yeah, Hana Valley was where we revived the first tree, I believe. Like, that's where we revived the first tree. I haven't found any more bombs. No, the only one was, uh, was by... Uh, was by was by the fairy, which gives us a treasure. If we go down this way, there's not really a lot to do. This is the area where we got the bomb, and uh, there's not a whole lot to here. There's like we can go down this way. Next, two hole made by the bomb earlier. Yeah, that just leads to a treasure. That's where we got the Zodiac thingamajigger. And treasures are mostly just for money. Um, Did you try entering the tree? Like, when you go through the gate, then it starts glowing. Yeah, you can go back to that area, but it was the same area that we found the tutorial, I didn't assume. Oh crap, we don't have any speed. I should have bought some. Oh, well, I'll remember that next time, is to go and feed the birds here. Yeah, the going through the tree led us to the tutorial area. I don't think so. I don't remember there being one. Kind of be stupid as hell if they're like, oh, here you go, back to the tutorial. Yeah, like, really, game? Bomb spot. Yeah, there's that bomb spot. I thought I already got this one. Pretty sure, but let's pick it anyway. A lot of these usually just have treasures in them, mostly the time. Yeah, like this one just has treasure. And that statue is for a side quest later on. That we can't do anything with. But... I don't think talking to this one. Ow, 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 ow. What's going on? Ida of the Dan- of, of the Danging Express never trips. Oh yeah, this guy. If we talk to him, we get into a fight. Because basically, he's been cursed by demons. I don't have time for falling over. People are waiting for mail. Those monsters must have set some kind of trap for me as a joke. Darn it, I knew I should have bought a traveler's charm. And it. So when you're playing the combat the way it's intended, battles don't actually take that long. My body's cursed by something. I think you need to craft Yeah, it looks like it, which is stupid that you can't just... Yeah, it's stupid. Whatever, I'll go. I think you can buy one of them. 
Yeah, I don't think that most of the most of the things that we talk about aren't usually that expensive. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's So I should probably take care of that gate, but for right now, let's do one thing at a time. Um... Because this guy's not very far away. Um... Uh, what the fuck? It literally said I should have bought one. And I'm at a shop. That is bizarre. Well, either way, I'm gonna go ahead and handle that gate. But yeah, I don't really like that about this game. Like, there's a fine line between open world and bullshit. And I think this is crossed over into the territory of pointy flick nonsense. I absolutely find it disgusting. Like, there's a difference between when open world is done right and when open world is done ass in an asinine fashion, and this is right up there with. Okay, let's wait for this guy. I need to get behind him. Damn it, I'm trying to get behind you, asshole. God fucking son of a bitch. Gotta love him, you have to get behind this. Come on. That's just obnoxious when it's like, oh, they're weak spot, where is it? On the back? Great. That'll be fun to deal with. Whatever, I'm just gonna put it in the It's easier. That's literally a requirement. I was just expecting. Fucking trees. Yeah, thanks, game, for giving me a whole lot of hints there. Like, any indication at all that I'm even supposed to do that. It could trees or something. Like, have, like, a connection between those trees and what the old guy was saying. 
Because what the old guy was saying was specifically, you need to have all of the, you need to have all of the, like, the actual, like, the trees he was talking about were the main story ones, like these giant ass trees. So, you know, I don't know if that's like a translation fuck up job. I think it would be, honestly. Because he's referring to like that tree right there. Like all 15 of those. Yeah, because these lazy assholes who made remaster can't fix translation errors while they're remastering a game. Did you end up calling being at the uh, eaters? They wind up calling them Bakemon. But if you're saying Bakemon, it's like a monster. Those Oh yeah, because you know there was a lot of indication there. Other than the, uh, you would have to know Japanese culture to you know that those trees are, in any way, shape, or form, seen as sacred. And what makes no Sorry. sense about that is that normally, whenever you have to do that kind of thing, it's in an, it's in a curse zone. Like, basically, the areas that have been cursed to shit. I love this way. BULLSHIT! Yeah, because as far as I can tell, everything else looks fine. Everyone's literally celebrating the sacred tree because the sacred tree got restored. There is no indication that anything is wrong here. There's no prevalent sense of danger or anything indicated to the player. Like, this is the equivalent of fixing what is already perfectly fine and calling that a quest. Yeah. Oh. 
What I don't like is when the game borderline lights to your face, because it's like, oh yeah, the village is pretty much at peace, there's nothing wrong here, there's no prevalent danger, there's no reason for you to have to restore anything, and they just randomly slap stupid bullshit. And specifically, how are you supposed to know there were 15, let alone one, without getting out a copy of Nintendo Power? Or being Japanese? Which, mind you, this is releasing in the United States. It'd be one thing if you play a fan translation of a game that never got released in America and it has this crap because it's like, yeah, it was marketed towards Japanese people, that's fine. This, it's like, did you really expect any United States, anyone, to figure this out? Like, really? When you thought of localizing this, And it should be noted that all of the trees that you had to revive that were small like this in the other area were clearly marked by the fact that they were trying to kill you! That's a lot more of a hint. Thing is trying to kill you. Okay. By my count, you've gotten all 15. I honestly think this could parse the translation error and parse the beat. Expecting people to know a bit more about the culture than the players might have acted. Yo, and this is another thing, is that we could have had, I don't know, a cutscene pointing at Trey. Yeah. Uh. 
But first, I must break my vow of temperance. I shall gingerly sip the sake, and soon we shall see blossom. Before I can dance, I must be drunk! I think I figured out why this segment was so bold. At the same time. Also, please tell me he dies at the end of the game. I just hope he dies. What you're about to see is the stuff of legends. Behold, the secret of secrets I give you. Fuck me, and I thought I thought Susano was egoistic and over the top. Game? I have the fun. One thing I wish that every game followed was that this is how to properly do quick time. As in, there is no timer for a start off. And for another thing, it doesn't involve me breaking my square button. It's like, that is how you do quick time events. And I wish that modern games would get the hint. <laughs> It's like when in, when one of the oldest ass PS2 games I can think of has better quick time than any modern I've ever seen. Yeah, you can tell. My R1 is held down. And you were able to do it before just fine. Yeah. Like, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And it's just weird. It is just weird. I 
I don't get why that keeps doing that. Is that like a bug or something, or is there some mechanic I'm not understanding? I don't get why it keeps doing that. I'm holding down the R button, so I'm holding down R1, so it shouldn't let go of R1. Like, I don't think my R1 is broken. I'm pretty sure my R1 is working. I'm pretty goddamn certain that my R1 on this controller is working. That time it didn't even... You didn't even recognize you were pressing it? What is going on with that? I know for a fact that the R1 is working on the controller. I know the controller's working fine. Like, I have... Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck is going on with this thing. Like, I clearly have my thumb. Can you Google, like, what the hell is it? Like, I don't know, maybe this is like a timed event and you're supposed to do it with an... I don't know, I'm coming up with random things to think of. Like, either way, there's something that's clearly not explained to the player why this isn't working. Because you should just hold down the R1 bind, hold down D to draw, or I'm sorry, square to draw, hold down square to draw, and you're good. That should be it. Well, thanks, game, for introducing a new mechanic that I wasn't aware existed. Because the tutorial did not tell me. Like, that's fine now that I know that's timed, but there was no way for me as a player to know that that was timed. I thought maybe, like, I was draw like... I don't know, I thought maybe I didn't draw, like, I don't know, maybe it needs to look more circular? Like, that's what I thought was wrong with it. Maybe it needs to look more circular and stuff. Maybe that's the issue. I didn't think for a second that was a timer. Because there's no timer on screen. There's nothing telling me that I'm timed. Like, it's really easy to do that if you know that it's timed. The problem is there's nothing on the screen that tells you anywhere that there is even a remote timer. And it's not like the tutorial tells you, oh, by the way, you know? It's not like those are hard quick time events. The fact is, is that if you don't know that you're timed, you're not going to do things in a fast motion. Like, it's not that it's difficult, it's that you as a player have no fucking idea because there's nowhere on screen or anything even remotely hinting. Sakura, you're alive and you um, look very nice. I literally, because there's no timer, I literally thought that was a bug. I thought that was just the game glitching okay. out. Yeah. I, I typed it into Google as a glitch. Yeah. Low bug friend, I see you are full of spunk as always. I also owe this elderly gentleman my deepest thanks. What bravery. Mere words cannot express the depth of my gratitude. Thanks to you all, I have been restored and re-energized. Okay. Of course, the one who deserves my thanks and respect the most is none other than the glorious god, Amaratsu. Praise be to you.
guys. I cannot guarantee that it will mean salvation for all of Nippon. But if you restore the Guardian saplings spread about the land, you too will benefit from the uh, power that results. I will remain in Kamiki praying for your mission success. How I look forward to gazing upon you again. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Oh man, what now? Also, I'm pretty sure that quick time event would be unplayable on the Wii. Like, straight up, you can't do that on a Wii. There's no way you could possibly do that. Not with my sensor bar spazzing out. Not with the game spazzing out and everything. There is no way you could do that in a quick fashion. I'm sorry, that's impossible. Like, if I didn't have a controller, there is no way. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Long have I hid myself here among the nature of Kamiki. But the time has come for I, proud member of the, uh, um, And you know what I have to say about quick time events? Is that I'm pretty sure that modern games followed the wrong game. Because instead of going by Okami's logic of quick time, which is like, Eh, they're annoying, but not something I would consider particularly stupid. They decided to follow suit with what Resident Evil 4 did, which had an entire boss fight that took about 10 to 20 minutes of quick time. They decided to follow that game instead of this. May my power be of assistance on your grave quest. Like, yeah, like, yes, I believe both games were made by the same developer, because isn't Okami made by Capcom? But clearly, the developers who worked on this had a better idea of how to do quick time events than the department of Capcom that did Resident Evil 4. Yeah. 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 Like, clearly, they had two different departments, because one understood how to properly do quick time events, and one didn't. And I can tell you it's RE4. With the water lily power, you can create lily pads on water. You can use them to cross any body of water. I just Let's try it out. Come on, this way, Amy. I just realized something with Resident Evil. What? The horror department. Yes! <laughs> I've been eyeing that treasure chest out there for some time. Why don't you create some lily pads here? Make them like uh, stepping stones all the way to the uh, to the isolate. The water lily brush technique creates lily pads on water. All you gotta do is draw circles on the water. They really ran out of ideas with this, didn't they? Like, there's a fuck ton of circles, and not much else. Like, they ran out of shapes. Like... I'm just saying, they kind of ran out of shapes. Make a triangle! Yeah, we don't even have a triangle yet! Like, something to be like... Like a triangle? Squares? I don't know! A hexagon- No, not a hexagon, fuck that, no. That would be so difficult. Hey, hey, wipe that smirk off your face, furball. But if I'm thinking of, like, easy shapes for players to do, um, I don't know, um... At least we don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. I know, now that you have your this new power, let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. Remember the waterway leading to the forest that I told you about. Finally! Finally, we have a red circle! Thank God, I can end the episode now that we actually know where the fuck to go next for next time. 
Hello, Sakura is back to her old peppy self, but there are still lots of guardian saplings that haven't blossomed. But yeah, it really does feel like they ran out of shapes. Like, um... You know, you know there's more shapes than circles, right? Right, Debs? You know there's like triangles, squares, maybe a me throw in a rectangle there. Crazy idea. I mean, just, I just circles are easy to do with rolling. True. But it's still like, um, did you run out of ideas? Um, there we go. Just need a bit of a run -up. You obtain this sun fragment. Collect three of these bright fragments to extend solar energy by one unit. So a much harder way than just... Basically, like Legend of Zelda. Yeah, but it's like, I'm not sure that that collectible is needed when there's already a level up system that gives you health. Bonus health. Yeah, I guess it's like bonus health. Like the life blood part, but permanent. Yeah. All right then. So, let's go ahead and save our progress. A little bit of a late stream today, just because I didn't expect that to take as long as it did. Okay, let's go ahead and look at, like, animals really fast. Seeds in MSK birds are known to be quite fond of seeds. These meat-loving animals show great loyalty and affection. Treasure charm. Uniquely shaped bead that shines in multiple layers. Okay. Wait, there's more to that. Oh no, never mind. Close to where they were. Um... How do I... Ah, oh, that's how we escape out of the game. Okay. Yes, I wish to return to title screen. Now loading! And... Apparently this, this title screen is just beast. I mean... That, that loading... Yeah, let's go ahead and end the game. Alright then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Have a wonderful day. Lovely, lovely, jubbly.